Hey, how's it going everyone and welcome back to episode 35 of Pokemon Violet Let's Play. In the last episode, we finished up Area Zero and we also finished up the main story. So now, we have a few little things left to button up in the main story, which I'm not really going to do on these episodes. I'm probably going to do that on a stream or something because we have to like rematch gyms and do things like that. I just feel like that's unnecessary content. So we're not going to do that. Ah, looks like the hero is finally here. Would you join us, Master Punchy? We're in for an earful, weren't we? Guess we'll find out soon enough. No need for concern, you two. I'm not angry in the slightest. I merely called you in here to discuss your fine achievements in this year's treasure hunt. You shut down the professor's time machine and thus prevented the Pokemon from the future from running rampant across Paldea. Your actions were truly outstanding in every regard, and I couldn't be prouder of you all. Though your decision to enter a strictly off-limits area was admittedly regrettable. Heh, <laughs> you've got us there. However, since this was necessary to protect Paldea, and its precious ecosystems, I am willing to overlook that particular point. Phew, so we're not getting raked over the coals after all. Oh, before I forget, Master Punchy, there's something I would like you to have. Each of your friends has received one already, so this one's for you. Ooh, we got a Master Ball, let's go. The very best Pokeball, with the ultimate level of performance. With it, you will catch any wild Pokemon without fail. Oh. And about the Hall of Fame badge I gave you a short while ago, that gift is one we bestow only upon students who achieve truly remarkable feats. I expect you to honor what the badge represents by striving always to serve as a model for your fellow students. You can count on me. Splendid, such enthusiasm will surely take you far in life. And Master Arvin, I was so sorry to hear about the professor. You have my deepest condolences. Ah, well. Yeah, it was pretty rough when I found out my dad had died. But weirdly enough, my head actually feels clear now, for the first time in ages. In the Great Crater, I got to learn a bit about my dad's research and what he was, act what he was trying to achieve down there. I guess if you're building something as mind-blowing as a time machine, that takes priority over showering your son with attention, huh? All I know is I'm done feeling like some lost little kid. Done. Time to say goodbye and move on. I'm going to enjoy every last day till graduation with my buds here in Mavistiff, of course. Well said, Master Arvin. You truly are your father's son. Of course, I must remind you that you've nowhere near enough credits to graduate. You'll need to study frantically to catch up, but I have every expectation of your success. What? And let us not forget the other good news. Our academy has a new champion. Though we sadly cannot make your valiant deeds in the great greater the great crater known to the public, your new champion rank at least should be celebrated throughout the whole school. Ooh, I know how we should celebrate. We should hold a Pokemon battle contest. Seriously, could we not? Classic Namona. A Pokemon battle contest, you say? While your own vested interests in such a venture are more than apparent, Miss Namona, I think it's a fine idea. But please understand that a large-scale event will be quite beyond us. We've many other school activities to keep an eye on, after all. Pardon my intrusion, but I couldn't help but over here. The Pokemon League will, of course, happily lend a hand in organizing this contest. La Primera? Well, well, a most kind offer, Chairwoman Gita. I do everything in my power to nurturing young, up-and-coming talent. Though that's not to say only the youth have promise when it comes to Pokemon battles. A former gym leader, the developer of the Pokedex app, this academy clearly counts many skilled trainers of Pokemon among its staff. As such, my suggestion is as follows. Students and staff should compete for the title of the strongest trainer at the academy. Whoa, we'd get to battle the teachers? You'd compete too, right, Primera? 
Is that even allowed? The chairwoman's not part of the academy, right? Actually, I think she's the chairwoman of the school board as well as the Pokemon League. Wait, for real? I mean, I knew she was on another level, but wow. Thank you for the invitation, Champion Namona. I would gladly take you up on your kind offer to compete alongside you all, but I'm afraid my schedule is already packed tight with work I simply must attend to. Aw, can't you free up some time somehow? Well, I suppose I might be able to participate if Champion Punchy would agree to lend me a hand with my work. I'd be happy to help. Excellent answer. Much obliged, Champion Punchy. To get straight to it, I would like you to go out and inspect Paldea's various gyms in my steed. Are they fulfilling their duties as beacons of strength and inspiration to all those aiming to achieve champion rank? Or has their brilliance started to fade? To find this out, I ask that you bring your full power, your full might as a champion to bear against each of the gym leaders and test their powers in battle. They are all trainers of exceptional talent, handpicked by me personally. I do not expect you'll find any cracks in their armor, but well, consider it a formality. This will also provide the perfect stage for your first appearance as a new champion. Since all the gym leaders will be ex will still be expecting me to carry out the inspection, I imagine they'll have mustered their full strength. I dare say they might be more of a challenge than when you faced them before. You'll get to have all-out battles with the gym leaders? Man, I'm jealous. Now then, on to another crucial matter. I'd like to discuss with Penny here how to patch the weakness in our, poke in our league point system. Um, but there's a bunch of anime I've missed that I was going to binge. Thank you in advance for your willing and eager cooperation. I mean, I'll, I'll do it. I'll help. Let me help. Excellent. We'll leave it all to you then. Come now, Penny. This is awesome, Punchy. Show this inspection thing who's boss so that La Primera can join our tournament, okay? and enjoy taking another swing at the gym gauntlet while you're at it. I'll take care of fulfilling for I'll take care of filling out the forms and other administrative stuff so the ball gets rolling on the tournament in the meantime. I say it's wonderful to see you all showing such initiative. You each have a critical role to play. Penny assisting the league, our new champion inspecting gyms, Namona arranging the event. Give it your best everyone. Guess my role so obvious it goes without saying. Alright, so, as I said before, we're not going to do this gym rematch during the Let's Play. So I'm going to do that off camera or on a stream. I don't know yet. What we're going to do, though, is we are going to go to Kitty Kami and we are going to finish up the DLC in the upcoming episodes. Okay, so now we need to fly to the community center, but we can't do it here. I forgot about that. Let's go to the entrance hall really quick. But yeah, we're going to finish up the DLC. And then uh, we will be able to go on to the second part of the DLC afterwards. So yeah, we're just going to go outside. There shouldn't be anything else we need to do. Pretty sure anyway. Right now we should be able to fly to Kitty Kami. Let's do this. Go to the community center. All right, so what we need to do is we need to go up to uh, Carmine's house. I might have been saying her name wrong before, I'm not sure. I think it's Carmine. All right, here we go. Let's finish this up. Punchy, you took your sweet time. We wanted to talk to you before Kiki wakes up. I wanted to fix Dear Ogre Pond's mask, but I'll need one more material if I want to do the proper job of it. Yeah, according to Grandpa, we need to get a crystal cluster from the bottom of the crystal pool. I mean, we could just return the mask as it is, but I think it would make Ogre Pond real happy if we fixed it up first. Yeah, I bet it would. 
Especially now that I've heard the real story. I just want Ogre Pond to be happy, you know? I'm sure Ogre Pond will be pleased to know you care so much for it. Right? Morning, Grandpa. Ah, good morning, Karen. Kiki, you'd better go kill some time somewhere. Yeah, yeah, do whatever you want, sis. Excuse me? I don't need that kind of attitude from you. I got stuff to do, okay? What's his problem? He's been all been out of shape since yesterday. I don't know. He spent the evening in his room without so much as a bite of dinner. Must be teen angst or something. It happens. It would have been hard to get stuff done with Kiki clinging to you, Punchy. Guess things worked out in our favor. The crystal pool is atop the Oni Mountain. I'm usually not too keen on outsiders heading up the mountain, but I think we can make an exception for you. What say, what say, you and I go for a hike? <laughs> That's definitely a typo. What say, you and I go for a hike to find ourselves a crystal cluster? It's just a what do you say, or, you know, there's definitely an error there. Alright, so I should be... Do I have a fly spot unlocked up there? No, we don't. But, we don't need that. We can just... We can just climb up there. We got... Uh, Mariah on here. We shall climb to the top. Like true hikers. I feel like we can just get there really quickly this way. And there is a fly spot up there we can unlock. Like a fast travel spot. So we will do that. I think we just have to run around up there. I will definitely double check the map before we leave. There's a TM. Would you look at that? What the heck is that down there? Oh, it's a P2. That was interesting. There's another TM. Super Fang. That's a cool TM. Alright, so we're going to run up this real quick. I think we can just, we might be able to just climb up here. I don't know if we can quite go all the way to the top from this, but we shall try. Looks like we might be good. That's a lot of climbing. But hey, when you've got this, why not use it? We are almost there. Alright, now we are up here. Let's grab this TM real quick. Now before we proceed, let's check the map. Do we have a fly spot up here? Doesn't look like it, so we need to probably go all the way around it. Just to be safe. Because I'm not sure exactly where the fly spot is. But we'll visit around. Let's check the map again. Okay, now we got it. Sweet. There you are, Punchy. Come on, get a load of this view. This is the crystal pool. Bet you didn't expect it to be so pretty, huh? The crystals here are always shining. Isn't that strange? There's a weird rumor that you can meet people here who have passed away. Now, we'll just need to get a little bit of the crystals from the bottom of the pool so we can fix the mask properly. And that's where you come in, Punchy. Go on, then. Jump in. Don't be scared. Wait, you want me to jump in? Well, yeah, I can't swim. And besides, my clothes would get soaked if I did it. You've got a real nifty Pokemon to ride on, right? You'll be fine. Oh, man. What in the... An uh, earthquake? Random Milotic? And I, here I am using a fire type. 
This one looks strong. You're awful lucky that I'm around. All right, let's do this. Okay, that did nothing. Sweet, she knocked it out. Less work I gotta do. Sheesh, that surprised me. Now, now that I think about it, Pokemon like that one do show up here from time to time. You know, you're pretty handy to have around in a battle, aren't you? Hey, is that? We got a crystal cluster. Maybe it was stuck to that Pokemon you fought. The energy coming from those crystals at the bottom of the pool. I knew it. Mrs. Briar? Hi there, Carmine and Punchy too. I thought you were paired with other students. Did you decide to switch things up? Uh, I'm sorry, Miss Briar, but this place is actually pretty special. I'm not a big fan of outsiders just wandering up here. I'm aware that this is sacred ground, yes. I did get permission from the caretaker, though. Was that not sufficient? Why did you come here? Oh, just doing a bit of field research. I was interested in the properties of the water here. And, well, my hunch was on the money. You see, the crystal pool's waters emit energy of the same wavelength as terrestrial energy, though I have no idea why that is. Once I figure that out, I might be able to stabilize the terrestrial phenomenon in regions other than Paldea. Uh, I see. Well, um, we've got somewhere to be, so let's head back, Punchy. Alright, so all we really gotta do is just go down there and deliver this part. And we're just gonna fly right on back down here. I'm gonna try to keep these episodes a little shorter. I know there's probably gonna be some that run over what I would like to, but, you know, I'm trying my best. Some of these are a little crazy. And I th we've already done the festival stuff, right? So I don't think we have a ton of stuff left to do. Alright. Hey, Grandpa, we got the crystal cluster you needed. Punchy, Carmine, I'm so sorry. Huh? Did something happen? Kieran, he... He ran off with the mask. What? Why would Kiki do that? Did you tell him about the ogre or something? I haven't said a word. Right, I'm sorry. I know you wouldn't just go blabbing to him like that. Kieran seemed to be headed to Loyalty Plaza with a mask. I think it would be best for you two to go after him. Let's go find him. So that's somewhere else we can also fly. Sort of. We can do it. There he is. Punchy. Kiki, what in the world do you think you're doing? You two knew, didn't you? You knew that the ogre wasn't the real bad guy in the stories. The little three were the real bad guys, but the ogre's the one that gets treated like an outcast. You... you knew? And you two did the same thing to me. You treated me like an outcast when you went and met the... and met with the ogre. I'm sorry, I didn't mean... You're no different than those villagers back then. You know how much I love the ogre. You acted like you didn't know anything, but you were laughing at me behind my back all along. That's not what happened at all. Liar! You're a liar! What's gotten into you, Kiki? You're acting real off today. Punchy, battle me. If you win, I'll give you back the mask. So come on, battle me already. Okay, I will. Okay, let's do this then. Get to your position. 
I'm not gonna hold anything back. You hear me? Okay, we got Yon Mega. Pretty easy. I knew this isn't right, but I just can't hand over the mask to you. Ooh, he's got Air Slash. Nice. And that did not take him out. I can come back from this. I got this. I got this. Alright, so he should have Speed Boost. Maybe not. So he must have compound eyes or something. I'm not sure what the other ability is. What? What can't you do? You're like a hero in a story. Alright, we've got a plus two and special attack. And we got Polyrath coming in. I think we can hyper voice that. I feel like we can do that and probably win. Okay, that did not take it out. And there goes all the stat changes. That's crazy he came in and did that. What? It lived? I need to get this right. I'm going to make sure to give the right commands. That got you good, huh? I can beat you, Punchy. I will win. Alright, well, let's at least get a plus one back in special attack. I don't know how much good it's going to do us, though, because if something comes in and outspeeds us, that's game over for Skeletors. Alright, we got Gliger. Um... Do we want to do this? It lived. Rock Tomb, it missed. No way, dude. Oh man, that's insane. That's insane. What luck there. Okay, we got Cramorant. I don't know if Cramorant's faster than me or not. You would think it would be. Nope. Alright, Cramorant's out of here. That's good, because that thing could be dangerous. And then we have Diplin. Evasiveness fell. Um, we're just gonna torch song it. Cause that's a stab. And we should be good, yep. Why? Why can't I be as good as you? Oh man. Ah! You punched the wall. Ow. Kiki, are you alright? Here, I promised. Say hi to the ogre for me. Hey, listen, Kiki, I should apologize for... I'm going home. I love how it's always pouring down rain in these cutscenes. I'm sorry about all that. He's normally not like this at all. Do you think most people act up like that around Kieran's age? I don't know. Right. I sure never let teenage angst get to my head like that. I don't know what to do with him. Hey, can you hear something? 
Is it coming from the Loyal 3 monument? Whoa. What is this, Geosinge Town over here? Well, what's going on? Huh? Huh? What in the world? What? What do you want? Hey, they're whispering. What are they doing? And they're about to take off now. Seriously, what is going on? Well, there they go. What was that all about? Were they the Royal Three? Hey, you're right. There were three of them. And they looked all sinister. That's gotta be them. The story said they were laid to rest under the statues, right? What brought them back to life? Wait, they ran off toward Kitakami Hall. That can't be good. Let's go after him. Come on, Punchy. Alright, so we're going to save the game here. And we are going to continue this in the next episode. So, if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you subscribe, leave a comment down below, and like the video. And I will see you guys on the next episode. Thanks so much for watching.